My name's Alone and welcome to actually a loot video of the new Sentinel Wire Watchers or Wire Watch Sentinels. They are the elite version of the Wire Watchers that can also have a roughly 1 in 1500 at least uh, after one day of people killing these estimated drop rate of a blood shard that is currently 2.1 million but it is most likely worth a lot more. The blood shard is used on an amulet of fury to make it sometimes give you HP back when you hit enemies. I do think it is a 10% damage heal so if you hit for 50 it will heal you 5 HP if it procs which is not too bad and probably is going to be a very useful item especially for me at raids. So if you're going to kill these wire watchers, I'm personally using Proselyte just for the prayer bonus and the more AFK way of doing it. But if you want the most efficient kills per hour, you can wear something like this guy is wearing right here, which is just full bandos with max strength. Also, always remember to bring your full Vire Noble set, because otherwise you will not be able to use this bank, and as this spot right here is probably the best place to even kill them in the first place, also, having access to a bank instant here for more prayer potions is the best method. After 400 kills roughly, that is a blood shard. It's actually 1 in 1.5k, so uh, that is very lucky. I actually have no idea what this is selling for, so I'm going to head over to the G right now and see what I can get for it. Tried a bunch of different prices, but it finally sold for 4.5 mil most likely. Let's see. Okay, 5 million for that. That's not too bad, but for how rare it is, it's probably no not worth grinding it out. I would assume it's probably going to drop to like even less than a mil in the future because the Fury itself, I mean, is like half this price and it's just a small attachment to it. But for now, making 5 mil from that is very nice. After 747 kills, second Blood Shard. I'm pretty much on double the drop right now. Actually, maybe I'm, ev I'm even luckier than that. That's pretty insane. Very, very lucky with the blood shards. So this is the last of the 1000 wire watch sentinels. So I'm going to head over to the GE and sell that second blood shard that I got. And let's see what we can get for that and what the total loot for 1000 of them was. Second blood shard instantly sold for 4 million. So they seem to be keeping the price up and it sold for 7.2 million. So the second one actually went up in price by quite a lot. I'm really surprised about that actually, but that is a lot of money for that. And also, by the way, the wire watches have 150 HP, so 1000 of them gave me a total of 600,000 attack experience. So if you look at the total loot here, it was 7.8 million from 1000 kills, but the blood shards were not worth 4 million. They sold together for a total of 12,295k. And if we remove this price right here of these and add a 12 point almost 3 mil instead, the total value of 1000 Wirewatch Sentinels for me ended up at 16.1 million, which is actually pretty good. It's a 16k profit on every single kill. There's not much more to say about this, uh, just wanted to make a quick loot video for these because they seemed like a very interesting creature to kill. I would say they're probably not worth the profit because if the shard still stays about 6 mil or something like that, which is very unlikely, I would say it's still not that good money because you would get one from every 1500 on estimate, so... Yeah, it would not still be great profit because the regular drops are not worth that much. Sure, they're very AFK to kill, and I would say that it's probably an okay Slayer creature to do, because the experience you would get from them is probably pretty good. You're hitting with this weapon, the blister would sickle or flail very consistently, so killing them is not too bad. I would say that I killed probably with a proselyte setup, I would say about 150. 20 to 150 per hour, so they're pretty fast. Unfortunately, you cannot cannon them, so that is a downside to it because they only take damage on the blister with weapon. But other than that, I would say it's pretty good. And with bandos, it's like 180 kills per hour, maybe maximum. I, that's stretching it quite far, though. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, if you want to join my Discord, the link to that will be at the top of the description. And also, if you want to join my friend chat, it will be in the same area. As well as if you want to see more of my content, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now or subscribe to my channel when I post new videos. Have a good one guys, take care.